Here we are again. Be kind. End this. Or release me. See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Have a bite of this. Ought to lift the curse. Said the same. Last you were here. Relax. This is different. This'll work. Better be true or I'll rip you! Tread you! Ah! What? What did you do? That was your own flesh. Far as I know, curse doesn't allow for that. Or oh, son, you tricked me, deceiver! Hardly. Wanted me to lift the curse? Well, you're welcome.
Grant my brother strength that his sword lie light in his palm, and Nilfgaardian next lie oh, exhausted. Just one more week, Crazy. I know you, you Grant. Okay. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. Greetings. Morkvarg. Never heard. Not w the work. Mm -hmm. I know that they said he, Archpriest. Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He a uh, werewolf. I know not. I, I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him. Help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that- Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Why does the goddess bring you here? Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No, but I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help. Though it will settle nothing. What do you need? Tell me something about this temple, could you? It happened once that Freya lost her favorite white cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart filled with joy and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats? <laughs> Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. The white cat is the goddess's sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall experience her grace. Scorn her not, or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? Mind if I have a look at your wares?
Farewell. You who grant us loads obscure this grant my blood. Go, go. Watch your strut. A killer. Come on. Garden of all places. What vile blasphemy do you and that? You, you're a watcher. I see and write. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh? And they said, "Where you hang on that? Ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast." But I showed them. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the counsel of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted, mustered a crew, and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Height and hands at the withers, or...? Mm, by species. Drowners less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm -mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. Hey. So, how much? Ah, have it your way. Tis your neck on the line. I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphere. Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. Mean to go back to work at the mill? <laughs> uh, Greetings. Show me your wares. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.